A positive adult role model can make a positive impact in a young person's life. Mentor North provides a conduit between adults and young people looking for a little guidance. They offer community-based mentoring relationships following the best practices. And here to tell us more is Beth Burt, the Executive Director of Mentor North. Beth, thank you very much for being here tonight. Good to have you. What is Mentor North? What's it all about? Well, Mentor North is the um, is your one-to-one -one mentoring organization in the area. So we're the only organization that pairs um, adults with youth for a one-to-one -one mentoring relationship. So how important is it to have that one-on-one -on -one between adults and young people? Oh, it's so vital. And I think if any of us think back to kind of thinking back to our youth or even in our adult lives, the different mentors we've had, the different teachers or people that we looked up to that maybe asked about us when we really needed them to or who just stepped in and did something nice for us one day. We didn't even realize maybe they were mentors. You know what? I don't think we maybe even called them that, but we there were those people that did that. And so we know that Everyone needs, uh, we don't, no one gets through this life alone. Everyone has to do it together with some other people. And so mentors are really vital. So what does a mentor do? Well, a mentor's role is really just to be there just for that one youth and to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them. So mostly what they do is they get together and they, they do fun things. They do activities that they enjoy and they explore new activities that maybe they want to try. And then they, they just chat and talk about what's going on in that youth's life. And sometimes those are day-to-day -day things and sometimes those are real serious questions. If a person is interested in becoming a mentor, how do they get in contact with the youth and how are they paired up? What happens? Well, first of all, they contact Mentor North and then they go through a screening process. So we do an interview, they have an application, we do background checks, we have a training that they go through. And then at that point, we've learned enough about them and um, you know, ensured safety sure. and availability and all of that. And then we really look at interests and characteristics and personalities and we really dive in really deep to that. So we pair people knowing that they'll be able to form a relationship with each other and that they'll have things that they like to do together. Do you find that most <clears throat> mentors do hook up pretty well? And what, what, what if you don't? What if you find out a few weeks into it, this isn't working? Well, we have program advocates on staff that support our mentors and support the youth in forming a relationship. I mean, you can imagine it can be a little awkward. You're strangers. Sure, you're just getting to know each other and, and you're so they support them in helping to find ways to get to know each other. And if something doesn't work out, we can always, you know, we can always break that match and form a different relationship and that child can get a different mentor. But that doesn't happen very often. So how do you match a, a, an older person with a young person? How, how do you go through that? Well, we they take a lot of questionnaires. You ask a lot of questions. Oh, tons. We, we, we have people that sit down and do an hour and a half interview. Really? We ask all kinds of questions about interests and personalities and values. And we do the same with the family. And we actually always talk to the youth. We don't just go off of what the parents say. We always make sure that the youth's voice is considered and that they are speaking to what they need and want. What is the commitment of a mentor? How much time? How yeah. much energy? Well, we ask uh, mentors to commit to at least four hours a month and to commit to a year um, to a youth. And what we find is that people tend to do a little bit more and they tend to stay a little bit longer sometimes, but that, that's the commitment. Mm -hmm. What's the process of becoming a mentor? Well, if you reach out to Mentor North, so you can go on our website, we have an application on there, or you can, um, there's an email, info at Mentor North, that you can just ask for an application. At that point, we'll sit down and, and talk talk through the whole process, but we have a great training that helps prepare mentors and we have lots of support. So Beth, is there a need for additional mentors now? There's just an incredible need. I think we've all seen what's going on with our youth, um, you know, with, with COVID and the um, lack of being in school and more isolation and less time with their friends and inactivities that I think that um, that's just causing some depression and some anxiety in our youth. And so to me right now is just a, the most important time. If you ever thought about it, like now would be the most time because they're just dying to have someone to talk to and to cook with and bake with and sure. they just want to play with your dog. And so what do mentors get out of it? What, what do they feel? Well, what mentors have told me, and I just became a mentor myself, did, so I yes. can tell you a little bit about uh, what it's like for me, but I think it's, um, it's, it's really a relationship that goes both ways. There's a lot to be learned from the youth and to 
Honestly, I just went sledding for the first time in a long time <laughs> with my youth, and I, you know what? It was fun. I had a really fun time. It's not something I get to do all the time, and so I would say mentors get to have some fun. It sounds like it was very enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. Beth Burt, Executive Director of Mentor North, thank you very much for being with us oh, tonight. Thank you so much, thank Denny. Thank you so kindly.